To use the SSL 12, um, first off, turn the on switch on at the back, and then plug in any of your instrument inputs uh, at the back here. So you can plug in jack or XLR, one, two, three, and four. Um, monitors will be plugged out of these two. And then we come around to the front. Your headphones will get plugged out of here, and you've got two headphone outputs, one for the engineer, one for your performer, and the volume controls can be found here and here. A very useful control will be this cut, which will mute your monitors, so you're not gonna get any feedback issues while recording. Your monitor volume is controlled by this large um, pot here. And then um, onto actually using it. So over here, we've got phantom power, which you can put on for every single channel. Uh, line input, that's if you're recording from you know a, a DJ deck or something like that. Low cut, that's gonna be really useful. It applies a low cut to everything, all frequencies starting from 100 Hertz. So pretty much everything that doesn't produce frequencies below 100 Hertz would, be, would benefit from this button being engaged. Um, the 4K function, is kind of like a vintage circuitry function, so it makes it sound like the 4K series that SSL produced. Uh, you don't have to have it, but it does It does add a little something to your recording, um, and it's worth experimenting with. And then finally, all you have to do is, once you're plugged in, uh, you can plug in your guitar and basses here as well, but uh, as well as the back, it's the same. Once you're plugged in, you simply turn up the gain. <clears throat> you simply turn up the gain, until your signal hits minus 10 and does not hit zero. If you hit zero, you will be clipping your signal and that's no good. So turn this until this light here lights up when you're playing your loudest and then you should be good to go.